the the <laughs> opportune point to um, pass to remain. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Than I did. <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, I did. So as we introduced a bit Firebase, I just wanted to uh, mention how I'm using it and uh, why I'm uh, using it uh, uh, mostly in my uh, add-on uh, yet another image. Uh, so uh, first, I'm using it as a kind of uh, replacement of uh, script DB uh, to save information about uh, each uh, user. So I have uh, all my uh, users' profiles uh, in Firebase, but uh, you could uh, use other databases uh, than Firebase for that. Uh, why I decided to uh, go uh, with Firebase is uh, mostly because of the uh, real-time uh, capabilities of the database. And uh, I'm going to show you this uh, with uh, yet another mail merge uh, right now. Uh, so just one second. Yay. Uh, so is everyone able to see my screen? Yeah. OK, so here in Gmail, uh, I have a, a little uh, draft that I will uh, use in uh, the mail manager. And uh, for this uh, campaign, I choose to uh, email uh, all the uh, people uh, working on the team here. Uh, so I will uh, all uh, send you an email and uh, uh, we should be able to see in uh, real time if you are opening the email, answering it, and so on. Uh, so, uh, first, Yetro uh, is a mail merge is a mail merge tool uh, that can send a lot of uh, emails. And I wanted uh, people to know exactly what was happening uh, on server side uh, from the UI. And uh, for that, I didn't want to uh, do a back and forth between uh, the client and the server every time an email was sent. But I wanted still to tell people when an email was sent. So uh, from the server side in App Script, every time a new email is sent, uh, it, uh, uh, it updates a specific uh, number uh, in Firebase, uh, and uh, the uh, client side uh, part uh, of the add-on uh, is uh, watching uh, this part of the DB. And so every time the number is incremented uh, by the server uh, without uh, having uh, to return anything from that script to the client and uh, 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 stop the script from running. Um, uh, Firebase uh, will let the client side uh, know uh, that the email has been opened, uh, has been sent. So if I click on send email, uh, you can see a little uh, progress bar. And every time a new email will be sent, I can see in real time uh, that they are being sent. Uh, so here uh, the five emails sent. Uh, and after that, we have a little sidebar here. And I can see that Steve has opened and then clicked the email. And uh, if uh, uh, Martin and Bruce uh, want to try it, uh, they should also be able to uh, find the email in their mailbox and maybe click or uh, open and unsubscribe or uh, answer to the email or whatever. Uh, the thing is, uh, you can see that uh, the uh, sidebar here uh, is updated in a real time uh, thanks to uh, Firebase. So every time someone opens an email, uh, we record an information in Firebase. And as the uh, client side uh, of the app of uh, different domain merge uh, is uh, uh, using Firebase uh, in real time, uh, we get the info. And then I use a, a simple uh, Google scripts run commands uh, to update also the info in the spreadsheets. That's all. And that really is a wow factor for me because you're updating the database, and then based on some odd event on the client side, it's bang, it's there. And I just think that's, I don't know if there's any other tools or methods that can actually do that. Uh, 
Good question. I suppose there are, uh, but yeah, Firebase was uh, really easy to implement, uh, while it has the additional benefit of uh, being uh, part of uh, the uh, Google ecosystem, uh, meaning that uh, all uh, the data are stored uh, on Google servers. Uh, I only pay one bill. Uh, and uh, well, uh, I everything is connected to the same uh, cloud console project and so on. Uh, so for me, it was a real benefit. Bruce, did uh, did you want to come in with anything on that? Um, I just wanted to say that the way that you you generally interact with Firebase is interesting as well, because you um, because it's a real time database, um, it's driven by by events so in other words if anybody updates there's a kind of a copy of the database kept in your client so if anything update gets updated on the regular one it synchronizes to your client and then calls back a function in your um in your app which then is able to um, react to a change that's been made so in fact you're being told about changes that get made to the database you're not actually going to check so it's kind of a push notification is what's happening it's a really really good uh, it's really nicely done actually yeah, it's actually uh, using uh, WebSockets, uh, and uh, yes, it's uh, way better than uh, having to uh, pull uh, data every uh, seconds or whatever. Uh, yeah. Well, great example. Um, we've, uh, we've actually got a bit of time left, so uh, Bruce. Do you, you, you've also got a, another example of using Firebase with uh, actually, some frameworks. Actually, yeah, give me a second till I just get there. Um, I don't know where it is right now. There we go. Uh, so well, while you do that, I have one other question for uh, uh -huh. Um Can you uh, monitor more than one click in your email messages, or is it limited to one click events? Uh, no, no, we could uh, monitor. Uh, well, this uh, this is not exactly uh, related to app scripts, uh, so we well no because we couldn't make a redirect. We could use cloud functions for that, uh, but anyway, uh, uh, w w what I'm doing is uh, simply uh, uh, so when you create your uh, draft in Gmail and then you. Uh, use YAM to send the email. I will get the draft, uh, find the links, uh, find the URL in the in this draft, uh, replace the, those URLs uh, by a, a specific uh, URL of a web service that I own. Uh, and so uh, when uh, I will send the emails, uh, then uh, when, I, uh, when a recipient will save it, open it and click on the link, it will go through my server first. I will record the fact that he has opened the email, uh, and then I will redirect him to the original internet URL. Uh, and as I can add uh, different parameters uh, in the URL, uh, I can track uh, who has opened the email, uh, to which com campaign it is linked, uh, what uh, to which you are ready to be rejected and so on and uh, uh, i can handle uh, as many urls as you want uh, in fact uh, within uh, weird emails uh, being sent with yam uh, and uh, uh, some people are like more than uh, have more than like a uh, hundred links in their emails I don't know the uh, the purpose of that, but whatever, we're well, handling that. OK, well, thank you. Because I know usually when you send an email, you want like one call to action instead of 100. But all right, thank you. <laughs> uh, back to Bruce, I guess. I, I just got a question. So Jacob is on the YouTube chat. And so uh, he was wondering if there was more you could say about how the Firebase um, updates the client side. Um, without the client side actually querying for updates. Yeah, uh, so okay. this is uh, not related to app scripts. Uh, you need to use the uh, official and very standard 
uh, uh, JavaScript SDK uh, client side uh, of, uh, of Firebase. And uh, if you go through the uh, documentation, uh, the official Firebase documentation, uh, you will see that uh, you can uh, uh, create a specific listener uh, uh, on listener to uh, be notified every time the, a specific uh, value or a specific uh, part of your DB, a specific pass of your DB uh, is receiving an update. Uh, if a new child is added, added as a specific uh, uh, um, pass uh, in the DB, uh, or removed or updated. Uh, there are many, many different uh, ways to uh, watch information, and uh, it's uh, very easy to uh, to activate uh, on the client side. Uh, another great example of how HTML service is enabling yeah. uh, the App Script community to do, you know, with a lot of existing JavaScript client libraries out there. Um, totally. So hopefully that answers your question.